a second I I need to get my story straight My friends are in the bathroom getting Hello and welcome to episode 11 of the 90 Minutes We have got up nice and early this morning so we can give you this episode before we go up and head to see our live stream of Everton vs West Ham. I'm Dennis 743. I'm Maxim 743. And I'm Chad 743. Here we go. Our first topic today is West Ham vs Everton. As I've just said, later on today, uh, by the time you're watching this, it has already happened, is the game West Ham vs Everton. Of course, I'm an Everton fan, and Max is a West Ham fan. What we're going to do is we're going to tell us, tell you a little bit about how we think the game is going to pan out. So we'll start off with Max, how do you think it's going to happen? And also, tell us a little bit about the Europa League conundrum going on. Yeah, um, definitely. So, um, West Ham and Everton both today have a lot of injured players. Uh, definitely, they won't be putting out their strongest side, as um, well, they don't have the players for it at the moment. Like West Ham are having to put in three reserve players apparently today. Um, Reese Oxford, Amani Onoarase, and uh, Reese Burke, who have been doing quite well at the moment. Everton have Tony Hibbert, Dan Gibson, is it as well? Do they have? Yeah, he's and injured. And a few other players. Oviedo, well. so. Oviedo yeah. And uh, so, but still, those teams are three points, well, Everton three points behind West Ham with minus two goal difference. So, still, if Everton win by three goals, it goes straight ahead of them. So, it's not anything to play for. This is for the all important top side of the table place. Of course. Tenth. And also, with the Europa League, um, West Ham are joint top of the Fair Play League, which, if you don't know what it is, uh, I'll quickly explain. It is basically um, the top three Fair Play teams in fair play league in fact in Europe get an extra Europa League split, uh, place and that is Ireland Holland and England at the moment and within those leagues the highest team with points of, but with fewest the yellow cards and red cards um, in each of those leagues gets to go in that Europa League extra space which is at the moment we're joined top with Liverpool and Everton are 10 points behind but we're not sure how the points are given out so they could give, be given up 10 20 points at a time, anything like that. So We've got no clue. No um, clue at all. So, it could be a game where we're trying to be as cautious as possible, which could make for a very interesting game. Charlie, uh, given the past games we've seen of the two teams, would you be able to give a score prediction, do you think? Yeah, um, I think it's actually going to be two on Territon, but it's actually going to be a really close game. Close game. Um, and why do you reckon? Is there any reason for that? Like, current form, well, injured players? They're not both bad teams. They're not, like really good teams they're in the middle like kind of the same uh, standard okay. so they'll probably do Close game. yeah but you think Everton will just have the edge yeah I'm liking that I'm liking the sound of that we're going to move on to our next topic now it is transfer gossip obviously it's coming near to the end of the season lots of transfer gossip going around about different players coming in and going out of the Premier League a big one is Gareth Bale uh, obviously Real Madrid as actually let's very quickly talk about the Champions League semi-finals if you don't mind, we'll talk about the two that happened uh, in midweek. We had uh, Bayern Munich out despite beating Barcelona. And mm. we had uh, Juventus just about getting through against Real Madrid. Max, that was your prediction for yes. Juventus to win. I predicted Barcelona, so we could both still be right. Anything more you'd like to say about that? Um, well, I'm pretty, pretty chuffed, really, to, to pick Juventus to beat uh, the big giants of Spain, Real Madrid. Uh, even though they haven't had the best of seasons and looking like they're going to finish maybe second or third um, to Barcelona, they still are a cracking team and it's great for not... Well, considering Juventus, I think it was 11 years ago, were in the second division of um, Italy. Now they've come to this, now being in the final of the Champions League, I'm pretty proud to choose it and I still think they're going to win the final. There we go. And so, as you said, Real Madrid have been knocked out of the Champions League and... Uh, almost Gareth Bale has been used as a scapegoat, you might say, to to their defeat. And so uh, he's not getting so much praise as he was doing uh, last season in in Espanol. And so there are rumours he might return to Manchester United. That's the big one. Do you reckon they're saying that he might be uh, still costing them as much as eighty million, which is only about five million less than what Real Madrid paid for him. Do you reckon he's still worth that amount of money? Is this just a Kind of little spare in his career when he bounced back? Well, he's young, so he's definitely got time to improve uh, on his game, which is possibly a rough patch at the moment, so I reckon he can get back to his usual form, like he was at the end of his spell at Tottenham and early spells at Real Madrid. There we go. Is there any other transfer, big transfer stories you'd like to mention? 
Not for me, no. Though. I've just thought of one other one. Uh, uh, David De Gea, the Manchester United goalkeeper. He is, lots of people say, he's been the best keeper in this year. Charlie, would you say? Yeah. Been impressed with his performances? Yeah, he's done really well this yeah. season. Yeah. yeah, he's really improved. Last season, there was a lot of doubts over him, but he's improved spectacularly this season. And Real Madrid are looking at the Spaniard as their new first-team goalkeepers to replace Casillas. And what sort of price do you reckon? Because also, of... Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, I can't get... I don't know what the word is. Often, that is the word, that's not a very right, <laughs> complex word to forget. Anyway, uh, often goalkeepers are priced down due to, due to their position. But do you reckon, how much money do you reckon he's worth? Oh, I'd say 35 million 35 euros. Million. Yeah. Which is, do you know how much? Is, I okay. think the currency is more expensive. Well, I think it's like... One of you, I'm sorry if I get this wrong, but I think it's like 1.2 euros to the pound or something like that. So, so around about, I'm not really going to maths here, I don't want to have to put myself on the spot. <laughs> okay, well you have that math. I'm trying to get a calculator out now and just work out, it's less Euro, less pounds and euros. So, we'll find out. Do you, do you know any otherwise? Uh, do you know otherwise? I don't. Charlie, what do you reckon a price for David De Gea? Um, I think it's going to be around the same as Matt, maybe like 40 mil, maybe not. Okay, and uh, is there any players that could come in to replace De Gea? Um, any big goalkeepers in the world that could be moving on to the Premier League? I would say, don't buy your goalkeeper. Use the money to buy some defenders. Yeah. Use Victor Valdez. <coughs> of course, Victor Valdez. I mean, everyone's forgot about him. Forgot about him. And then you've got Andreas Lindegaard, who's still not a bad keeper. He's maybe like 30. Like He's been at the club for like... A long time. Long. Yeah. yeah, but Valdez still sitting there just waiting for his... Big chance at Manchester United. Our next topic. Uh, this is talking about uh, Max's team, West Ham. Uh, at the beginning of the season, he was so excited. He came up to me and he said, Great news, we've got this guy, Zarate. He's going to be absolutely amazing for us. Didn't work out so well. well uh, he did score against Everton, actually, coincidentally, really? in the last game. But no, he didn't get... In the, right, in the last sure. Premier League game. But it didn't go so well for Zarate. In January, he was loaned out to QPR to try and revive his season. Didn't work out there either. And Max, would you like us to? <laughs> would you like to say? The word is often. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to tell us uh, what's happened with Zarate recently? Oh, well, I disagree slightly. I think he's a quality player. I've always liked him when he's playing for Velez Sarsfield. I don't know how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. you, you're um, a big fan of the Velez Sarsfield. Yeah, you? no, I was actually a massive fan him. of Zarate actually because I knew him when he was playing for Birmingham on loan uh, about oh, okay. a couple of years back, and. Um, uh, I actually collected a match attack card of him. There you go. Oh, Shout okay. out to match attack tops. <laughs> tops. Okay. And um, uh, I think he's a quality player. Scoring, although this may not sound good, but for a team like West Ham, uh, two goals in six games, where most of the time he did come off on the bench um, to score two goals in six games, which is pretty decent for Zerate standards. He is, I think, he's a top quality player. He's hardly played at um, QPR at the moment, and. By the sounds of this breaking news, he is not going to be paying for them again. Well, QPR, that is. Am I right in saying that what happened was, when he was not picked for a game, he just refused yeah. to play and he yeah. said some quite harsh words about yeah. the club? Well, uh, the story was he was visiting family back in Argentina, uh, where he's from, and uh, then he was called to play uh, against Liverpool. And uh, so all the way up to Liverpool from Argentina... Like, miles or many miles away and uh, he was called out to play then the team sheet came out and he was on the reserve so he oh. wasn't even guaranteed of playing so <laughs> to be honest I I can see where he's coming from yeah. because I would be quite annoyed as well yeah, if I'd that agree. to me and uh, so then he just got a bit angry said some words about the kind of like was left handed uh, about yes. PSG yes. and um, then he's now been banned from the club which I don't think is uh, I don't think it's that bad really because if yeah. he, I'd probably get annoyed if I was picked and I was in Argentina. Yeah. Okay, Charlie, do you, what do you think's next for Zarate? Do you reckon he'll return to West Ham? Will he just go off and find a new career? Will he become a plumber or something? No, nah, <laughs> I think he'll actually return to West Ham. He'll return to West Ham. Yeah. Do you reckon he's got an, a chance to revive his yeah. West Ham career? I think the reason why he uh, uh, he didn't make it into the squad was because we just had too many strikers too many. that were actually breaking through. Like, I don't yeah. think West Ham... Um, Expected Enna Valencia or Diafrasaka to be the stars that they have turned out to be this season. Mm -hmm. So um, 
with now we have for now, now we have um, Moriba Maiga uh, from FC Metz in the French League who's returning from loan at the end of the season who didn't really have a great spell at West Ham beforehand uh, but I don't know if he's going to be leaving the club at all um, so that will mean we'd have like five strikers Andy Carroll will be back for next season or oh, probably get injured in the first that's, five seconds that is yeah. true. I mean, he was great actually Andy Carroll oh, sure, until sure. those five seconds and then he got he got injured again done his hamstring there we go anyway so that's the story about Mario Zarate it's now time for the challenge let's take a look Hey guys, down to simple three here, and we're going to start off our challenge. It is going to be a game we found on the Wii many years ago. Uh, beats FIFA hands down, would you agree? So much better. It's the graphics, the quality graphics, the, the controls, just a real quality football game. And so we're just going to show you that game. We're going to have a go. Uh, it's going to start off with these guys are going to play. Charlie's never going to play it before, so it's going to. Witness the pure incredible excitement of this game. Alright, so choose your team. Choose your team, you can be any of these hundreds of thousands of teams. Uh, random, close my eyes, that one. I don't know there's a little yellow choose? thing in the middle Sweden. of the screen. I chose Sweden. Okay. Sweden. I'm Sweden. Sweden. Uh, you're Sweden. Sweden. So what does that mean? What do we like? How do you shoot? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go for it. There you go, go. Wait, no, wait, I... Wait. I don't care how you Who's tackle. that? Who's that? Oh, I'm England. You're England, okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, this what? Is, let's fill one up. Oh, he's yeah. definitely ball. I don't get how you sprint, um, yeah. tackle. Just, yeah, just run. That's it. That's a good play. So how do you shoot? I mean, as you can see, the graphics here, quality. How do you shoot, Charlie? Do you really think I know that? Bang it! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, what a save! One, sure one, one thing that. I remember: it's really hard to score, no matter how much you curl it. No matter how much you cut it, it's so hard to score. Oh, 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 yes! Yeah! <laughs> how on earth did you manage to score? No, still off straight away. Okay, okay. No, really, what an effort! It's like, forget the ball, I want to destroy this guy. I want to. Yeah. Sick one. Yeah, pass it. Oh, what a curler! That's your guy there. That is your guy. Oh, oh I'm just gonna do that! I'm just gonna do that! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Penalty! What? What? The hell happened there? What? Penalty! Oh, I didn't touch you! Um, I don't know how to see penalties. What? I didn't touch you! Charlie Waddell! I said this! You can't do it to the side at all! What is going on? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, what are these Muppets doing at the back? Chris Sprawling and Jackie Elka. And Baines. No, he's on. He's on. Uh, he's not my centre back. He's on the left. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, great save. Go on. Yes! yes. It's oh, gone. Oh, oh, stop, top corner. Did you see that? Top. Did you see that? I saw it. What? Oh. 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 What? What? Oh. I think you're pretty excited because it's, it's so hard to score penalties. I'll, I'll be dominating here. I don't really care. You oh, should go. I'd press two. Ball out to the side. Oh, oh, cross. Oh, he's sweating oh. guy. <laughs> that was a great finish. Sweating guy. <laughs> Wait, where, which one was his keeper? Oh, I didn't see that properly. That was, that was some decent stuff to come back here, Dan. Yeah. Who knew you could do a Who was that with the goal, Dan? Who was that? I didn't see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I've no idea. Oh. Gareth oh. Barry. Look at this face. I shot. Oh. Yes. Great game. Come on. Quality game. Come on. That's a quality game. Oh. So go in. Yeah! In added time as well. What? Oh, get into the bottom corner. Yes. I'm Mario Mandzukic. Here we are, Xavi! What? Right at the keeper. Xavi? What? He's got yeah. 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 What is he doing? <laughs> right at the keeper. Xavi with the finish. What is the keeper doing? Penalty! No! <laughs> oh. What a challenge! Here we go. And it is. Oh. No! <laughs> so hard to take penalties! <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure. That. <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> that time, that's time. Here we go. Oh, so tense. Here we go. So tense. Let's go. Oh, I'm already. Don't angle it, Charlie. <laughs> yeah! Oh, 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 what a go! What a go! One finish! Yes, oh, nice! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you didn't have to save it. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Good two. 
<laughs> it's like symmetrical. Oh, Go for it, mate! Oh, yes. I dive! I dive! Don't have to dive! I know how to dive now. Why would you want to dive then? For <laughs> <laughs> safe! Oh, yeah! How is he doing that? Because <laughs> how are you? That's more power on the shot, I reckon. Yes! <laughs> it works! Right, few scores is he wins. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't even go in! Didn't even go in! What? Um, yeah, of course I can. Oh, we'd probably just do five anyway. Same. <laughs> just whack it, Dan. I didn't Ooh. I put it the other way, I don't know how that happened. Oh my god, I'm actually saying this. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Alright, so, okay, so. what do we do? Hmm. Should we do some maths? Try and we'll come back to you in a minute when we figure out what's going on. Hey. Max, uh, because he beat Charlie in the first game 2 1, he wins and he gets the. Three points. Yeah. Uh, due to my goal difference of zero, I'm going to get the uh, the two points. Charlie, very commendable performance. Got uh, a point in it. Did well. He got the one point, and I like to get none. But he'll try and catch up with us next week. So guys, we're back from that very exciting challenge. As you can see, the new leaderboard up here been completely wiped clean. Max is there with his three points. I'm there with my two. Charlie with his one. Alex, <laughs> well, sort of half of Alex is there <laughs> with zero points. Uh, but he'll try and catch up next week. The goal of the week, I believe, is the best goal I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a goal better than this. I'm not sure if these guys feel quite as strongly as that about it. But I'm so impressed with this goal. Uh, uh, this would be Zlatan's goal for me. So here we go. So this is from the goal kick. It's kicked up the field. There's the ball, flying up the field. Headed on. One touch there. Overhead kick. Just amazing. This is in the German fourth league, the equivalent of League Two in Germany. It's far out though. It's outside. It's an unbelievable goal. Let's have, let's have a look at it. I mean, I'm stunned. Any comments? It's pretty decent. Yeah. Pretty standard. Decent. Decent. It's decent better than standard. Oh, what a stunning goal! The vote this week. Before we go into that, a couple of votes that we didn't tell you the results of. Um, in the vote, who do you reckon is the most successful team? Uh, Southampton won, but there were also votes for West Ham, and Max will be pleased to hear, and uh, Chelsea. It wasn't you that voted for West Ham, was it? No, I don't oh, know. Okay, there you go. And uh, last week, uh, you said that Charlie or Max were the one that were going to win the Challenge League. Um, so I'm a bit... Yeah, we shall see. That's just the first one. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Any more to come. So, the most recent vote, the vote this week, is what will happen to QPR. Last week we found out after a 6-0 thumping by Man City that they have been relegated to the Championship. And these are four options for what you might think will happen to QPR next. Will they get promoted straight back to the Prem? Will they get relegated to League One? Will they do a blackball this season, which is lose all their players and have to sign in loads of free agents? Or will the club eventually fold? Due to, isn't it a £60 million fine they have to pay? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. It's a bit of trouble at QPR. Uh, the birthday boy this week, I imagine you haven't heard of him. He's called Mid uh, Mido Balde, uh, a former Celtic player uh, who I know because my dad is a Celtic fan. Uh, so if you haven't heard about him, have a look at him. Uh, please like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I'll put a couple of links in the description below. I've been Dazzin743. I'm Max743. And I'm Chaz743. See you next time. Bye. Good night. Give me a second, I, 